Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to After Closing Time. Tonight, <laughs> death. What is it? Do we need it? <laughs> Can we live without it? Uh, perhaps, uh, Irene, your thoughts? Yes, well, I think I'd start by saying that death is a... Well, it's a very personal thing. Mm, yes, especially if you're the person who's dying. <laughs> it's very personal indeed, then. Yes, 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 but it can be very difficult, can't it, if somebody dies who's very, very close to you. I couldn't agree with you more. It's what, I mean, what do you do? Do you um, catch them or, or, or step, step out of the way and just let them sort of flop onto the floor? Yeah. Yes, it, is a, it is a rather a problem. I mean, only recently I visited my, my old mother at her, her little country cottage, and she... <laughs> well, get on with it. <laughs> Spit it out, woman! <laughs> I'm oh, oh God, I am sorry. How awful. Um, Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Would you, would you like to talk about something else? No, 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 really. It's part of the healing process, you yes. know. Oh, to let it out. Yes, yes, that's, that's, that's all very wise. wise. So sorry, yes. do carry yes. on. Right. Um, well, right. well uh, of course, uh, uh, the question for medical science regarding death... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please, please, please carry on. The, the, <clears throat> the question for medical science regarding. What? <laughs> death, he's saying death! Oh. oh dear, this is awful. I'm so terribly, terribly sorry. No, that's all right. I think it's, it's... I think it's right to bring it out because the, que the, que the question for medical science regarding. Death, so death, death, yes, death, death, death is, is how, how, how do you determine uh, uh, death? Uh, what yes. is the exact point of, of death? death? Well, I've given this quite a lot of thought, personally, and I think the point of death, surely, is to stop cluttering up the world with old people. <laughs> Can somebody call me a taxi, please? <laughs> You know, actually, funny, uh, Irene, you talk about because it, it reminds me of when, when my uncle, my uncle died and he was all sort of laid out in the yeah, front room yeah. there. He was, and what, what did he, he die of? Oh, natural causes. He was, uh, he was in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, but <laughs> that doesn't sound very natural to me. Well, it is if you drive like he did. <laughs> The point is, yeah. the point I'm trying to make is that when he was lying there, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. He, he actually looked healthier than when he was alive. Yeah, really? Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Well, that'll probably be the embalming fluid. Yes, I don't know why he drunk so much of that stuff. I really. <laughs> but, but the thing I remember, I was a little babe in arms. They held me up to the corpse mm. and made me kiss it on the lips. Ugh, on the lips. Uh, yeah. Well, that could have a terribly, I would have thought, damaging psychological effect on us. Well, it, in a manner of speaking, it has because from that day to this, I've never really, I've never really enjoyed kissing dead bodies. No. <laughs> Well, of course, it's a well-known fact, isn't it, that men have more difficulty in accepting death than true? women? Well, no, 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 no. Yes, in the hospice for diseased lesbians. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm often struck by the difficulty men have with accepting death. Mm. Really, yes, mm. they whinge mm. about and they mm. absolutely groan mm. about the inevitable. Mm. Yeah, but it's always surprised if they've been sent to hospice for diseased lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> this to me a very important question. If, if one had a very, very short time to live, would you want to know? Mm. Well, I think you'd find out eventually. <laughs> yeah. mm. But, I mean, uh, would you then choose to take your own life? Ah, oh, well, yeah. you see, you know, I think, I think I would, yes. Would you? Oh, yes. How, how, how would you do it? Poison, I reckon. Poison? Mm. Yeah, I think, I'd, uh, I think I'd, you know, put something in my sandwiches, make it a, make it a suicide-packed lunch. <laughs> oh, nothing, really. Please. I'm just oh, trying to raise so the good. atmosphere. It's like a bloody morgue in here. Please. Well, please, please. If you don't mind. Now, there is a society, of course, these days which helps people to die. Yes, yeah, it's called the NHS, isn't it? <laughs> it's called Exit. Yeah. Exit. Oh, yes. Yes, they, they, um, they meet in my local cinema, I think. Is that cabaret, yeah, or not? <laughs> but there is no doubt that whatever the conditions, life is very sweet. I, I, I remember when I was up country in northern Rhodesia, mm. and uh, I came face to face with a sweepo gorilla. Mm. Good lord. Good lord a huge yeah. lunk of a man, and his gun was cocked, and <laughs> he stuck it right against my head, and he pulled the trigger. Did you survive? <laughs> Yes, I did, um, because his gun was jammed. 
Oh. But I realized at that moment that there is nothing so precious in this universe as that force which beats within each and every one of us, yes. which we call <laughs> life. So, so what did you do? I shot the bastard. <laughs> well, and I took the next plane home. Oh, I see. Yes, of course, I think it's true to say we can often learn <coughs> something from death. Absolutely. I myself learned a very great lesson from my mother's recent departure. Really? What was that? Yes. Brown is live and blue is neutral. <laughs> <laughs> you want to share this cab or not? <laughs>